Hey guys, it's Jenny here and today it is Monday, August 6th and it's about 11.30 at night. So I didn't release, I didn't start the vlog earlier because I didn't really have any content um, and I still don't have very much content. So <sighs> today's been a really stressful day. Um, but I went to a 4-H meeting tonight got some practice in so that was good um so now i've just been excuse me um i edited my book two with Han vlog that's going up tomorrow um and then i've been watching a bunch of my youtube watch later list because i hadn't gotten to watch youtube in like a week <laughs> So, I watched some of that. No, that's a lie. I watched Brandon Rogers all day yesterday. But I didn't, like, watch anything from my watch later list in quite some time. So, I got a bunch of those watched. So, now I only have one more. And it's Haley and Bookland's vlog from Booktubeathon. Um, so, after watching so many people's, like, successful Booktubeathon vlogs, I'm very ashamed to post mine because I literally didn't get anything done so it's like should I even post it because you literally saw my progress in my readathon and I didn't make any more progress except for that so it's kind of pitiful but who cares it's probably gonna go up anyways because I spent all my time editing and gathering footage so it's probably gonna go up, but it's gonna be another one of those doll vlogs. Um, but also watching all these vlogs makes me like really in the reading mood, so. I was gonna pick up Mark of Athena, but I'm really tired. Also, I think that expires in like three days. I would have to check, but I'm pretty sure it literally has to go back in three days or less. Could be less, but. I got too many audiobooks going right now, but I'm afraid to return one of them because I'm afraid that I won't be able to get it back. <sighs> I'm so tired. I swear it wasn't this tired 10 minutes ago. But, um, I, I think I want to try to get through Haley's vlog. Um, and then after that, I'm going to listen to some of Mark of Athena until I fall asleep. I'll probably set the timer for like 45 minutes. Um, and yeah, I was kind of unsure if I was going to vlog this week because given how much of a dud my, um, whatchamacallit, my booktube um, reading was, I was just like, mm, this vlog's probably going to be very boring. But... I'm going to try to up my reading because I do have three audiobooks in my overdrive right now. Um, and then I'm going to my dad's this weekend. So I'm trying so hard not to get off for like the billion of time. Um, so I'm going to my dad's this weekend. I should be able to get something in. I feel like I also have something this weekend. Oh shoot, I have a grad party. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, that's tricky. But... Um, yeah, the week after this week is literally fair week, and I'm stressing just a little bit, just a little bit. I, say, I should say the weekend after this weekend is fair check-in and then fair week, and I'm like spooked. <laughs> um, and also my mom wants to schedule my driver's test right either during or after fair week like my i'm gonna my i'm gonna be staying with my grandma during fair week and she's gonna be driving me um to fair well i'm gonna be driving me in her car during fair because my mom's gonna have to work and she doesn't want me home alone um i'm home alone all the time but like she doesn't want me home alone all the time on this farm so I'm a little bit nervous about the driver's test, but I just have to practice parallel parking and all that junk. Um, but I might, I'm 
gonna watch that vlog and then I'm going to listen to Mark of Athena. I think the one I'm probably gonna pick up after Mark of Athena is an audio Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban because that one's got the most holds on it so I should probably get to that one first and then if I can't get to the Trials of Apollo audiobook I'll just read it physically it's not that big of a deal to me but those are some updates so I'm gonna go um watch that vlog and then get some audio booking in but I will check in with you guys tomorrow good night Hey guys, so it's 11 o'clock on Tuesday. I got up at about 9.30. Um, I had a really hard time waking up today because I was just so comfy. I fell asleep. I was barely awake listening to Mark of Athena last night, but I did listen to some of it. Um, I'm pretty sure I got another three chapters listened to um, last night. So I've been listening to this to go to sleep. Um, but I had a really hard time waking up today. Like, I was just so tired. I wasn't even tired. I was just so comfy when I fell asleep that, like, when I went to go wake up, it was just like, do I really have to do this? <laughs> um, but my mom woke me up when she told me she made my favorite breakfast. I'm like, oh, I'm up. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah. But I've kind of just been bumming around. Um, I don't even know what I've been doing. Like, what have I been doing for the past two hours? Oh, well, I did listen to... Not listen to. I did watch some more YouTube. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update. My mom just went to work about 30 minutes ago. But I'm currently trying to make my way through Marvel Athena by Rick Riordan on audiobook before it has to go back. I only have three days left on it. Um, it's this big. So I'm right here. Um, I'm on page 139. Um, um, oh yeah, about the chicken nugget. So the last time I left off, it was... I made it through about 40 pages last night. So, this might be a little bit of a far cry from a good goal, but I want to try to finish today an audiobook. And I know that's really ridiculous, but I want to get through this audiobook so that I could start Trials of Apollo the Burning Maze, get through that on audiobook, and then just have Prisoner of Azkaban as my audiobook that I'm making my way through. Um, I would just really like to knock out some of these audiobooks. Um, I have to be doing a lot. I have some clothes to fold. Um, I have a shower to take. I have a cat to tend to. I need to clean Sancho's cage. Um, I need to do my chores and do some cleaning out there at some point. But there's been lots of people around lately. Um, but... Oh my god, that's cold. Oh, but I needed to go out and do that. And I would also really like to do more showmanship practice for my rabbits and especially my guinea pigs since I didn't get practice last night. Um, we got rained out before um, we were able to get practice for the guinea pigs. But um, I would really like to do some practice 4-H stuff. And then wherever I put my record books would be helpful oh here they are and so i also really need to start my record books so fairs in literally 12 days so senior record books you have all the stuff to answer about rabbit questions and it's ridiculous so i really need to get a grip on these i have a rabbit one and a guinea pig one um but yeah so Right now, I think I really want to get my tw booktubeathon vlog up. So, and then when I'm gonna, when I'm uploading that, I think I'm gonna listen to this. So, I need to find my speaker so that I can listen to it. 
but that's kind of the general plan i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that um so yeah i plan to try to get through this today um just really because i have a lot of audiobooks to get to and i just kind of want to take them one at a time and just kind of power through them i have seven days left on the burning maze and nine days left of prisoner of azkaban and three days left of this one so i really need to get through this one first i if i don't get through it today i would love to finish it up tomorrow because it's supposed to storm all day so we're not gonna have too many things to do outside but i would love to finish it between today and tomorrow so i can move on to the next one um so yeah um those are my audio booking plans on thursday i'm supposed to go to Lindsay's to take the rest of my rabbits out there <sighs> um and then on friday i'm supposed to go to my dad's um Saturday, and then I'm supposed to be there the whole weekend. Saturday, I have a grad party to go to at 2. But, yeah. Those are my plans. I got a busy week ahead of me again. But, August is always busy for me. But, um... August is, like, always my busiest month of the year around there. May is pretty busy for me too because that's my birthday month. But right now I think I'm going to go make a thumbnail and uh, write out the description for my video um, and get that uploading process started. Wow, I'm tired. Uh, so I think I'm going to get that done, get that video up, and then listen to a little bit of my audiobook. Ooh, it chills my teeth. So, I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so it's 2.30 on Tuesday. Um, <laughs> so I still haven't really accomplished anything at all. I ate some food, and I tried to get Elsie to eat something, but she wouldn't, so... Meaning that I have not done anything reading wise. I did make a thumbnail and get my description made, but I did not get the video itself up yet. So, um, right now, now that my phone is all charged up, I think I'm going to turn on my audiobook on my speaker and fold my clothes, get my room cleaned up, and then what do I want to do next? What did my mom tell me to do? I forgot. Um, I have to clean the ferret cage, but I don't think I have any bed in here, so... Um... But, I for sure have to at least clean my room and... Oh, I can take a shower. And then I really want to practice with my rabbits and guinea pigs before each showmanship. So... That's some stuff I need to do. Um, so yeah. I know I didn't do anything, but I'm getting there. I'm getting around to it. So, yeah. That's my plan. Is to start listening to my audiobook because I don't really have any other excuses. Um, so yeah. I will update you guys later. Okay, so it's 4.37 on Tuesday. And I've been listening to the Mark Athena while I got in my room. And I am just under halfway. So, I am on page 226. And there are 574 pages. So, somebody please do that math because I can't. Um, so, yeah. I'm making good progress through it. Um, I think I made a lot of progress. I made like almost 100 pages. So, um, <laughs> so I'll show you guys. There used to be bookshelves and stuff over there, but my bed is gonna be like coming out into the room. And then I think I'm gonna have my dresser over on that wall, like 
Yeah, on the short one right there. Yeah. So, moving my room around. I don't even know why, I just kind of felt like it. But, yeah. So, just thought I'd let you guys know. Um, and yeah, I'm making really good progress. I'm going to be continuing with this. So, I would really love to get like halfway through this before I stop. So, I'm going to quickly calculate the halfway mark and then update date you guys soon okay guys so i checked and i have to get to page 287 to be halfway so i'm exactly 50 pages behind so i only have to read that little bit to be halfway through it um but right now i'm going to take a quick break get a snack maybe um and then finish up with this um I just have to, the biggest thing is moving my bed and dresser because those are the heaviest things. Um, but I also have to tackle the corner. I have a bunch of stuff packed up and I need to sort through it and determine what's going to the storage unit and what's going to my dad's house. Uh, and then put the clothes away that I folded. So, got lots to do. But I'm going to go make myself a snack and charge up my speaker. Um, I might actually just bring my speaker and listen to it, but I don't know. It kind of does need to charge, so I'll probably just charge it while I go eat. But I will update you guys later. Hey guys, so it is... It's 11.10 on Tuesday. And so I am on part 10 of 12 of my audiobook. I'm on chapter 37. So I'm pretty sure that means I only have about 2 hours and 20 minutes left of my audiobook. Um, I am on... Page... 437 um out of 574 so i'm getting there unfortunately i wasn't able to finish it today but i'm not gonna have that much to do tomorrow at all so that's awesome um so i'm gonna finish this tomorrow and then i'm gonna pick up trials of apollo and try to get through most of that tomorrow because I think that's only about like probably 400 something pages so if I can get through at least 300 in a day I can get that almost done so but um here's my room my bed used to be in that corner over there and now my dresser is there and then uh, my dresser used to be right here. So, this is drastic change. This is the corner where my bookshelves used to be. Um, but yeah, now I'm very tired. So, I'm gonna get some sleep. My speaker died, so I plugged that in for the night. Um, and I just wanted to finish up a couple more chapters, but now I'm pretty tired. So, I'm gonna get to sleep and then I will update you guys in the I will check in in the morning um probably after I get some more reading done because it kind of just seems redundant for me to tell you like oh my god I'm going to finish Mark of Athena and then start Trials of Apollo even though I just told you that so I will check in with you guys tomorrow after I get something done Good night. Hey guys, so it's 10.30 on Wednesday and I got up at 10 o'clock on the dot. Um, I've been sleeping a lot better now that my room's switched around. Like, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was like the rain. The, we got a lot of heavy rain last night and I didn't know, but like I heard it subconsciously when I was sleeping and it helped me sleep. And also my room was really dark last night and I was just really comfy, so... I slept until 10, which doesn't really happen very often. Sometimes I'll sleep until like 9, 9.30, sometimes until like 9.45. But I haven't slept until 10 in quite a while. But I just woke up like 30 minutes ago, so now I'm kind of just chilling. I have Leslie here with me because she wouldn't quit making noise. Dang it. Um... But yeah, so since it's raining, 
my plan is to whoa so first things first i need to tackle this pile today including that tv that i hit my foot on a number of like 18 times in the middle of the night i hit my foot on that tv so many times oh that was annoying especially because like my pinky toe is so sore from literally almost sacrificing it to the table at fair setup but i only have this much left to go in a market with Athena. i'm pretty sure there's only like two hours and 20 minutes left in it but sped up to the two speed maybe maybe i can have it done by the time i eat lunch that would be epic um the only thing i'm kind of worried about is starting another rick riordan book like i love his books don't get me wrong but like sometimes the beginnings take me a really long time to get into so we'll just have to see but i need to tackle this pile today a bunch of it is stuff that's going to my dad's so i can see like two things from this pile that need to go out into my buick because they need to go to the storage unit um, and I should probably take out my box of books that needs to go to Goodwill. Um, and I have some stuff on the hallway. Um, so yeah, my plan is to finish Mark of Athena. I need to clean my room today. Um, well, finish cleaning my room. Um, and... I want to do some stuff out in the barn, but I know that I've been saying that, so I don't really know if it's going to happen. I might just wait until tomorrow, since I know that we're supposed to be taking my rabbits to Lindsay's, but maybe it would be a good thing not to, because then we'd just be in a rush tomorrow. I don't know. We're going to think about it and figure something out. I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, so, got lots of plans for today, so lots of audiobooking opportunities, so I will check in later. <laughs> what? I just went to the bathroom! <laughs> Leslie! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> What's the matter? You still gonna complain? You have to walk all the way around me? <coughs> yeah. Leslie! <coughs> Leslie! <coughs> I promise you she does not want out. She just complains louder if I let her out. Leslie! Oh, now you're gonna sit down? Oh, what was that? You got a frog in your throat, lady? The sass. Leslie. She's done now. Hey guys, so it's 9.30 on Wednesday and we are stranded on the side of the road. So, um, I finished Mark of Athena about two hours ago. It's 9.30 right now. You can't see me at all, but it's 9.30 right now. I finished Mark of Athena at 7.30. Amazing. I only had one day left of it, so it was really good I finished it. But we were on our way home from my sister's. We just picked up the trailer, and the Jeep started smoking. Um, smoked us out. It was burning, so we had to pull over, and... Um, now we're stranded on the side of the road because it died. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update that I finished Mark with Athena, and now I am stranded away from home. We're two miles away, but yeah. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, and I will update you guys later. Hey guys, so it's 12.15. Technically, it's Thursday, but... On Wednesday night, um, we just got home. So, I'm gonna give you guys the rundown on our whole debacle tonight. So, mom got home, we put away the groceries. She's like, hey, I'm gonna go pick up the trailer at Shire's, you wanna come with me? 
And I'm like, yeah, sure. So we drove to Shia's. Look, um, spent some time with the kids and stuff. Hooked up the trailer. And then we were on our way. We get two, we get, like, pfft, we make it almost all the way home. We're like two miles from home. <laughs> and I'm like, mom, the car smells like it's smoking. I mean, we kind of just brush it off because, like, we just passed the semi and I'm like, okay, it's probably just giving off some fumes. And I'm like, okay, mom. The car smells like it's smoking. So we look around us and we literally realized that we were surrounded in smoke and we were smoked out. Okay. Pull over on the side of the road. Pop the trunk. All of the smoke comes wafting off up from out from under the hood. I meant the hood, by the way. The first thing we did though was check the tires because we had a problem with the tires before, but checked under the hood, we're like, okay, smoke from the hood. We get back in the car and we try to drive farther and the car starts slowing down and then it just stopped and like would not go forward. So we're like, oh shit. Um, so my uncle, he's a mechanic, God bless America, and we called him. He lives over an hour of the way though, so that was... So my uncle, who's a mechanic who lives an hour away, came to our rescue. He had to completely replace a valve. He's, I don't even know, he's like a freaking mechanic genius. I've never seen anything like it. So, he fixes up our car, it took like an hour and a half. Then, he goes to start his car. And it doesn't start. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been through so much. I just find it hilarious. <laughs> so much has happened to it. So he goes to start his car. <laughs> and the battery is just dead. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh my god. So we had to give him a jump start. And then we had to go home. So we're home now. And I finished the Mark of Athena. So now I am on to the Trials of Apollo, the Burning Maze. I just had to go over that story time. Also very upset because I've been dealing with some snaky people. And now I'm not going to the GEC concert. So... <sighs> the endless summer has come to an end. And I'm super pissed about it. But whatever. I don't even care. I'm just gonna listen to Burning Maze and finally just chill for today because I have another big day ahead of me tomorrow. So, good night guys. I will check in with you tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is 3.40 on Thursday and I just got back home. So, I had to go to the library. Um, I cashed in the rest of my little time things for the summer reading program. So I have 15 more slips into the jar to win, what is it that I'm winning? Either a $100 Amazon gift card, a $50 Amazon gift card, or a $25 Amazon gift card. <clears throat> so I have a lot of slips in that jar. I have let's see, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I have 25 slips in that jar, but I don't know guys. I've won at least something every year, but I don't know about this year. That's That jar is really full this year. Um, donated some books there. I got a book too. I ended up picking up A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I, I don't, sometimes she goes by Victoria Schwab, so I always have to check. Um, so I got this from the library because my friend Danielle, she's always, she said something about it and I've been um <clears throat> everybody's been telling me to read that series so I decided to pick the first one up because it's really expensive on book outlet and in store so I'm like okay mom we're gonna check this out from the library in case I don't like it 
So I did that, and then afterwards we went to our local coffee shop slash bakery. I got free drink and free cookie because of, it was like one of the prizes for the summer reading programs. Um, and then we started heading home, but we definitely got stormed out. Like we have the biggest like I have never seen. I haven't seen it rain that hard since like last year. It was bad. Um. So yeah, I have a huge mess to clean up outside, or not outside, but outside my room because my whole entire upstairs is completely flooded. And I'm talking like it goes up the banister, like down the stairs, into the hallway, like it is so flooded upstairs. It's like not even real, it's stupid. Um, so I should update you guys. I am on... Chapter 10, page 87 of Trials of Apollo, the Burning Maze. Um, I didn't get as much done as I would like to. I'm right here, and I want to be right there. Um, but my phone died once, and my speaker died. So I came in, plugged that in, and then I went back out. I was in a really bad mood, so I was listening to um, some classic rock. <laughs> um, but now, once I get back outside... Or back to doing something. I'm going to be listening to my book. But um, I just wanted to give you guys a, those quick updates. I still have to pack a bag. Finish up outside. Um, clean up the upstairs. And more. But I will check in with you guys okay, later. So it's 6.45 on Thursday. I'm at Lindsay's. The rest of the rabbits here. What are you doing? Sophia? Sophia? <gasps> Sophia? So Sophia? <laughs> oh yeah, you think so? Hey. Baby cows. <laughs> You're gonna fall down, you goofball. Sophia. Kelly. Hey guys, so it's 9:18 on Saturday. And so, last night I fell asleep at like 8. Um, so, while well, my audiobook was playing. So, it says that I am on chapter 20, part 6. And that I am in five, 5 hours in. So, I listened to 3 hours of this last night. Now, I'm pretty sure I only got an, an hour in. Um, so, I left off on chapter 10. And I know that I at least got to... Okay. This is definitely too far. So I'm pretty sure I passed out halfway through chapter 14. So we're gonna go to chapter 14 and start reading from there. Um, but now I'm gonna go get some breakfast. I said, We took the scenic coastal road south in the Bedrosian Mobile. Since the Escalade was only slightly smaller than Hephaestus' fire-breathing hydro tank, I had to be careful to avoid side-swiping motors. So I'm downstairs, and I'm cuddling Miss Callie. I don't actually feel very well right now, so I'm not going to be going to that grad party. Um, but look, I get Callie cuddles. Huh, Callie's. Callie. What a beautiful cat. Yeah. Faith. Faithy.
Hey guys, so it's 12.22 on Saturday and I'm still not feeling the best. Um, I brought, whoa, I brought Faith up and she's been keeping me company. The other cats don't mind being downstairs. They actually prefer to be downstairs um, as opposed to upstairs, but she hates being downstairs. She would much rather be upstairs. So we just bring her up for a little bit every once in a while. Um, I haven't been doing much reading just because I have a really bad headache and I'm not feeling the greatest. Um, but I have been watching some YouTube and I had literally 15 videos in my watch later list. And I eliminated a couple of them, but I watched mostly all of them. So, ever since I found my place, I didn't actually update you guys on what page I'm on. Um, so I'm, um, so I'm on page 136, I'm pretty sure. I might be a little bit past this, but I don't really remember. So, 136, and my goal was to get to page 210. Um, I'm not, I don't have this book for much longer on audio, I don't think. So I would really love to finish it today. Um, no, it says it expires in two days for me. And Harry Potter expires in four, so I really need to finish this one today. So I can move on to Harry Potter. Um, I also really need to film my July wrap up. I'm pretty sure I have seven physical books. Um, and then I have some books I read on ebook, but they were all poetry collections. So yeah. July just feels like it was the longest month like in this entire year. I feel like July lasted so long. Um but yeah, um, I'm gonna go take some medicine to try to get rid of my headache. Um, and then I w I'm gonna listen to Trials of Apollo. Um, and then I'm gonna go through my bookshelves. I need to go through them because I'm taking a box of books to Goodwill today. We're going s school shopping later, hopefully once I feel better. Um, so we're going to Goodwill to drop off. I have a box of books that was from months ago. Um... And I need to go through the rest of mine because there's so many books here. It's actually unreal. So I'm going to listen to Trials of Apollo while I clean up some of the stuff. I will check in later. Hey guys, so it's 3.02 on Saturday and I have officially reached way past the halfway mark. So I am right here. Um, I am on part 8 of I think 11 maybe. Um, I'm on chapter 32. I only have four hours left, so, um, let's see, I am on page 293, so, I only have, um, let me see, I only have this much left, which seems like a lot, but four hours, you know, so my bookshelves are done, all the books fit. Mm, kind of. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of how my shelves are rearranged right now, but like, I can't do anything about it until the rest of my shelves are here. Um, so yeah. And I know people are going to be asking me for a bookshelf tour, but the way it's rearranged right now, I can't really film one um, the way I would like to. But, um, yeah, now that I at least reached the halfway part of Trials of Apollo, I'm gonna have to show you. Faith. Faith. Hi. Faithy. Faith. What a cutie. Um. But now that I've reached the halfway mark, my goal was to reach the halfway mark. So now that I've done that, um, I think I'm going to go get a shower. 
and then get ready so that we can go into town and finish up school shopping and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And check in with you guys later. Okay, so it is 10.35. And I am on page, not page. I am on chapter 35, part 9 of Trials of Apollo. I only have 3 hours and 17 minutes left. Wow. I am so depressed. I have only cried two other times in a Rick Ray Orton book. The first time was in The Last Olympian. And the second time was in Blood of Olympus. Actually, three times. Blood of Olympus and at the end of Mark of Athena. But man... Why? I just need to know, like, was this really necessary? Because I don't think it was necessary. Like, you're gonna bring back one of your characters. For, you're gonna add one of your original characters into a spin-off novel. And then you gotta do them like that. I am so upset right now. I'm just... I'm having a hard time coping with this one. The muse of tragedy better be happy because, boy... I am depressed. Isn't that okay? This is Robbie Damon. We hope you have enjoyed this unabridged production of The Trials of Apollo, Book 3, The Burning Maze, by Rick Riordan. This program was directed by Christina Rooney, Executive Producer Dan Musselman. Text copyright 2018 by Rick Riordan. Production copyright. Hey guys, so it is 12.20 and uh, I finished The Burning Maze. Wow. As you can tell, I've been crying for literally the past two hours over this freaking book. Um... I think I'm going to give this, I'm stuck between a 4 and a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, I think I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 stars. It was just kind of confusing for me in during some parts. And kind of all over the place during some parts. Um, but overall, I did. I don't even want to say like it because I'm really upset right now. But um, it was good. I um, can't wait to read The Tyrant's Tomb. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be called. Um, let's see. The Tyrant's Tomb. Fall 2019 instead of summer. So. I finished another book, guys. So now I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to bed. And then tomorrow I'm going to marathon Prisoner of Azkaban. So. Good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, guys. So it's 10.03 on Sunday. And I've been listening to Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, so for audiobook, I am on part three. Um, two hours and 30 minutes into it. I still have like nearly 10 hours. And I'm on chapter six, page 96. So, yeah. Um, right now I'm going to take a little bit of a break and go eat breakfast. Um, and I think after I'm done with breakfast, I'm going to film my wrap-up. Um, and then, I don't know what, probably resume my Harry Potter 
after that or something i don't know but i will check in later i swear i don't have anything on my hand she just really loves me kelly kelly I literally don't have a thing on my hand. Kelly. <laughs> what are you doing, you goofball? being so feisty today. Sophia. And then we have Faith over here cuddling in the little leg nest. Faithy. No, she's crazy cats. Huh, Kelly. So guys, it's 1.26, <clears throat> and I'm just casually checking my emails, getting ready to film the House of Hades audiobook. Just got borrowed to me. <laughs> so now, I'm back to juggling multiple audiobooks, but I didn't think I would get it for a while because I just put it on hold, but here we are. Hey guys, so it's 11.42 on Sunday. I'm back home. Uh, so, a couple updates for tonight. I had a really rough night. So, uh, I was downstairs chilling with Callie, and then I got a text from Lindsay to call her ASAP. So, I did. And one of my lion head bucks, my lion head buck, Gizmo, he's fluffy, he's white, he has red eyes. I've had him for years. He was the last living rabbit I had left of my old lines that um, perished in the barn fire. So he was the last one left of those lines. Um, she had thought and something got him through the cage and that he needed to put down. He needed to be put down. But when I went out to see him and kind of, I, I, we had to put him down. Uh, we actually discovered that he broke his back in during the thunderstorm. He spooked and he just must have landed the wrong way but unfortunately I had to go out there and put him down it was really hard for me there was just a lot going on in my mind so it was really upsetting but um after that I cleaned myself up a bit uh, and then we went to go see the Meg with my mom and my brother and some family friends that was a lot of fun um, so yeah now we're home the Meg was pretty good I swore to myself I wasn't going to see that in theaters, but it was pretty good. My mom screamed really loud to part, and I thought it was hilarious, so even that was worth it. But, um, I think that's a wrap for this vlog, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, um, and I will see you next time.